So it's been a while since I made an update video and my apologies because in the last Japan video I told you that I would keep you updated as soon as new information came out. New information did come out, uh, but it was like a couple months ago or like a month ago. I'm so sorry. So let's just jump right into it. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you my personal thoughts on this whole situation. So at the beginning of 2020, uh, Japan closed its borders just like most other countries in the world because of the whole runny runner situation. They stayed closed until about late 2021 when um, they announced that they're going to reopen to students and business people alike. And then they retracted that statement because the whole Omicron variant came out and everyone was freaking out and it was a big deal and whatever. And then about three, four months later, they announced that, okay, fine. After lots of pressure from their citizens, um, they're going to reopen to, again, the business travelers and the students and stuff like that. And then about a month ago, they announced that, hey, we're fully open, but there is a caveat. You have to go to Japan on a guided tour. And basically what that means is you have to book a tour with uh, a, like a private travel company and then you have to go with them. You have to stay with them the whole time. Uh, to be fair, there are more strict and structured guided tours and then there are more lenient guided tours. Uh, the most lenient guided tour that I've seen uh, was very expensive for 10 days. However, you could, you still had to register like your hotel with them. You still had to um, tell them where you were going, but you could go and, 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 uh, and explore a little bit, not, not as much as you could pre Rona, but you know, a little bit more than all the other tours. So as of now, if we look at the history, they're getting better at reopening, which is good news for us travelers who want to go to Japan. That's great, but they are still mainly closed. If you want to purchase a guided tour, if you're like, man, I really want to go to Japan. I can't wait. Um, here are some websites and I'll leave some links down in the description below if you want to go check them out. Now I've heard rumors of like a business people, um, uh, citizens and uh, politicians alike they they're pressuring the prime minister to fully reopen japan so it sounds to me like they're not only under pressure from the entire world right because everyone's open right um but they're under pressure from their own denizens which is uh like hey it's good news for us i should also mention to go on one of these guided tours you need to be fully vaccinated now it's unclear whether you need that third booster or not but in, in terms of like fully vaccination so two doses yeah you need to be fully vaccinated. So my thoughts, guys, my thoughts, this is completely ridiculous, like absolutely ridiculous. The entire world is open for travel. I can't think of a single country other than China, but they're a communist country They're They don't really count. Right. Um, I can't think of a of a single country that is still fully closed. It, it's completely ridiculous. This fact is only boosted by the majority of Japanese citizens being fully vaccinated. All Japan needs to do is re fully open to the entire world and require a fully vaccination card. That's that's really all they need to do. What else do they have to worry about? It doesn't make any sense to me because if the majority of Japanese citizens, which I'm pretty sure it's 82 or 83 percent of Japanese citizens right now are fully vaccinated, the majority of Japanese citizens have their vaccination and then all the travelers that are coming in are also vaccinated. What is the issue? There is no reason whatsoever if you've got double vaccinations you got double protection bada bing bada boom baby open up let's go to japan i also mentioned in a previous video a long time ago uh that they can't afford to stay open japan's economy has been in a stagnant state for the past 30 years if you look at this chart right here it shows oh they were doing good and then it's just they've just been stagnant for the past 30 years that is not a good thing compared to the united states for the past 30 years and compared to other big economies like china for the past 30 years so i definitely stand by my point that they cannot stay closed any longer. They cannot afford it. So my prediction now, I take this with a grain of salt because I am complete garbage with predictions. Apparently my last video, I said they were going to open December of last year. I was so wrong on that. So take this with a grain of salt, but I think, I think they're going to start receiving more and more and more pressure from their denizens and politicians and citizens and whatever. So I think they're going to open up the floodgates this fall. I could be wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong and it's earlier, um, but I, I I don't see it lasting any longer than this fall. It, it just makes no logical sense. If you want to talk about this and stay up to date, I have a travel discord that I just created. It's got hundreds of members. We're all talking. We're all giving tips. Um, I'll link that down in the description below. But if you want to join, it's free. No worries. If you don't, it doesn't matter but it's a it's a pretty fun community so check that out down below thank you so much for watching guys i love you so much and safe travels